So here's going to be a very quick tutorial about Pictory subtitles. In case you're newer to this and you're wondering how you can go about creating them, it's a very easy process. In case you'd like to follow along or simply try out Pictory, I will leave a link down below for a free trial. So here I have the script editor. I just put a random script here to say I was doing a introduction to a video. Let's click on the proceed button. Obviously, you know, you can put a much longer script there. Uh, Pick anyone you like, I just happen to like corporate. We're gonna go with 16 and nine. And of course, once this is done loading, I will get back to you and I will pretty much show you. And just like that, here I am. And you might notice I didn't do anything. That's because Pictory automatically can create these subtitles and captions for you. Like I said, it's gonna be a very quick tutorial, but I don't wanna end there because obviously there's gonna be a few things that you can do with your subtitles in case you wanna change them around, right? So on the left side, this is where we can edit it. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Maybe I wanna say, hey, it's called marketing island and upon doing so let's give it a second to load you're going to notice it just added it in there so that's going to be how we can edit our captions and subtitles whatever you want to call them of course and upon doing so if we ever want to like change how it zooms in or zooms out we can click on it once and if you'll notice this right here this is going to be the entry so like the fade in that means like it's gonna fade in or reveal from center, from right, from left, it's gonna fade in. So pretty much what this means is that, so if it's slide in from the left, that means it's gonna start here and go whoop and come on this way. So you can also change around the speed as well. And of course, it's gonna be the exit where it can be a fade out. Me personally, you can really, you know, be meticulous about this. I think fade in and fade out looks great. I'm not sure if it's gonna show in the preview. Let me just try it one sec. Yeah, that was a very quick fade in and uh, there you go. You can see it fade out. So those are going to be like the different settings in terms of like what it looks like. Let's say we want just to do one like slide in from the left. There you go. You can actually see it right there. And then of course, when we have our exit, oops, this mouse and we just have a, there's not as many. Let's do like from the right. Okay. So. It's still previewing and then it's kind of slides to the right. So there you go. That's the lowdown on subtitles. It's automatically created for you, which is awesome. That saves you a ton of time. And of course, from there, you can edit your subtitles or captions, whatever you want to call them. That's going to be on the left side under the story block. And of course, if you want to edit any of the transitions, and of course, if you want to make it a different font, so like we have Arial and we can do the bigger font if you want. Those are pretty much going to be the settings. Anyway, I hope that helps you out. Very quick tutorial. If you have any questions about the subtitles in Pictory, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.